It's a critical day for students heading to college. We are turning to Craig Bolanos, the founder and CEO of Wealth Management Group for some common sense on paying tuition. Craig, big decisions are being made about money. Angela, that's right. May 1st is National Decision Day. And I think parents all across America are saying to themselves, holy cow, the average cost of attendance now exceeding $54,000 a year for private colleges, some $27,000 a year for public colleges. This is nothing short than an avalanche issue in American financial planning. So just how are we going to pay for it? Or in many cases, how are we going to finance it? What are your tips for paying for college? Well, I have to say to everyone watching, if we have time on our side, the absolute best way to put money away for college is to utilize the granddaddy of all college savings vehicles, the 529 plan. Why? Unsurpassed tax benefits, tax deferred growth, tax free distributions for qualified expenses. Number two, you might be eligible to get a tax deduction or in some cases a tax credit on your state income tax filing. Who doesn't want a tax deduction or other credit? Number three, you own and control the account. It's not an asset of your student, your beneficiary. And flexibility, it's paramount. A 529 savings plan can be used for any public, any private institution, in-state, out-of-state, you name it. You can even utilize monies in a 529 plan to pay down an existing student loan. And best of all, everyone's eligible. There's no income or no age restrictions, you know, such as other vehicles like Coverdale Education Savings Accounts. Craig, what are some saving steps and when and how should parents get involved in taking on loans for students? Well, you know what, Angela, borrowing money for college is a reality for most, if not all. And it all starts with completing that FAFSA, the free application for federal student aid, and aligning your finances to try to make them EFC friendly. That's the effective family contribution. That's what's used to determine your eligibility. Then we always, always, always are going to borrow in the name of the student first via a federal student loan. And then and only then will mom and dad borrow most likely through a Parent Plus Loan. I'm Craig Bolanos, the CEO and founder of Wealth Management Group. We exist to help families like you get retired and stay retired. If you want to learn more, you can go out to our website, investwithwmg.com. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.